This is the almost completed painting of Island in the Lake. I actually extended the island out a bit further because it needed to fill more of the canvas, made all of the trees bigger, just uh, the way I did it on the original video. To finish it off, I wanted to just show you how you can use your palette knife to get the, the leaves and whatnot on these bits of pieces. I have done the yellow to the ultramarine and darker ultramarine to get those colors. Now I'm going to put a bit of white beside this just to get a little different shade of each of these colors. Now I have these different shades of green and I'm going to put some leaves on this underbrush. You notice I've got a bit of paint on the top of my blade so I do want to take that off. And what you're going to do to do this is you're going to pick up just on the tip a little bit of paint just on the tip and instead of using the whole side of the blade I'm just going to put little dabs in here where I started them just so it would go faster. Little dabs here. Pick up a different shade of green here. I like to have some of these weeds coming up over the reflection so you can create more depth to the painting. And I'm just put, putting the blade on and then just taking off some of that paint that's on the tip. So you're getting little daubs of paint as opposed to a flat surface that we showed earlier. Because I don't want them all to be the same color, I have picked up a little bit of burnt sienna. I'm going to put it beside the green and do the two tones together and it will just create a little bit of different strengths of picture. And I'm going to put them beside the the greens that I have there just to give it a little different color. A little bit of ultramarine blue. 